What is up guys, Joe here back with another video. Today I wanted to cover a complete guide on how to yield farm within the Osmosis platform. So Osmosis is the official DEX and DeFi platform for the Cosmos blockchain. Within this ecosystem, you can swap your coins, you can contribute to pools, you can stake your assets and vote on governance proposals. So Osmosis was just launched in 2021 and has been gaining a lot of momentum lately with the Osmo price running up to close to $10 per token. So Osmosis is part of a larger ecosystem within the Cosmos IBC protocol. And within here, we have close to over 200 different chains interconnected with each other. So through the power of the Cosmos token, you're able to yield farm for large APR rates within the liquidity pools. So today I wanted to cover a step-by-step -step process on how to yield farm within the Osmosis ecosystem. So let's get started. So first thing is first, you want to install the official Kepler wallet, and this is the official Cosmos wallet, where you can import any Atom asset and send and receive tokens directly from this extension. The website here would be kepler.app, and then you can also go to the Chrome Web Store where it will take you to the extension page where you can simply add it to your browser. I recommend using Chrome or Brave. So very simply, once you install this wallet, you can access it from the top right corner clicking on the Kepler icon and from here it defaults to the Cosmos blockchain but you can also toggle between other interoperable blockchains such as crypto.org, Osmosis, Kava and Juno. So it's a very sleek and powerful wallet, very similar to MetaMask, but the Kepler wallet is solely for the Cosmos ecosystem. So this would be your first step, installing this wallet and depositing some Atom into here. So let's get started. So you wanna buy and send some Atom into Kepler. I recommend using Coinbase Pro. Coinbase Pro has a lot cheaper fees than regular Coinbase, but rest assured, they're linked under the same profile, under the same user, and the process is the same to send tokens over over to any other wallet. So under the Cosmos page, you wanna hit withdraw and select the Atoms token. As you can see, I have three Atom available. So this would be the same under the regular Coinbase website. On the top right, all you would do is send and receive. You choose the amount you wanna send and under the to section, you would paste the Kepler address found up here in your Kepler wallet. So let's jump back into Coinbase Pro and let's select Atom. And we're gonna choose crypto address. We're gonna paste our Kepler wallet. And here it's asking us which Atom address. So let's go ahead and click on Kepler wallet up here. Make sure we're under the Cosmos blockchain and copy the address. Let's go ahead and paste it in here, paste. You can add a memo, it's not necessary. Check on this transaction does not require an Atom memo. Amount, we're gonna choose max. And right away, it calculates the network fee, which is the gas fee. So uh, that's needed to send any crypto across the network. Very minimal. That's present in any blockchain, including Ethereum, Solana. It doesn't matter. They all have gas fees. And we're going to go ahead and hit withdrawal. Let me verify the transaction on my authenticator app. The withdrawal has started. It takes about five seconds. So all we will do is click on our Kepler address up here. And awesome, we have an updated balance. Great. So now moving on to the next step, we're gonna deposit some Atom into the assets tab. So this is the Osmosis homepage. The website here is app.osmosis.zone. Let's give you a quick rundown on how to navigate the Osmosis ecosystem. Under the trade tab, here is where you can swap any token for any other token you would like. In this case, we're gonna swap some Atom for some Osmo. Under pools, here's where you contribute to any of the available pools. We're gonna to contribute to the Atom Osmosis pool. The APR here is 101%. Up here, you have the Osmo price of $8.70, and the reward distribution is upcoming in the next 15 hours. Osmo rewards are paid out once a day, and anytime you contribute to any pool here, you're paid out in the native Osmo token. 
Your rewards are claimed automatically. You don't have to manually claim any rewards. They're deposited into your wallet automatically. So down here, your Osmo balance will be updated depending on how much liquidity you're providing. And also on your Kepler wallet, you'll see the balance update as well once you start earning rewards. And if we navigate towards the bottom, we see some of the top pools by total value locked. So the most popular is the Atom Osmo pair. Second most popular is the UST Osmo pair. And third most popular would be Luna and Osmo. Great. Under assets, here's where you can deposit any of the available assets. So you would have to deposit Atom here in order to begin liquidity providing. Under stake, this brings you to the Kepler staking page. And from here, you can stake any of the tokens we were just looking at. So it defaults to the osmosis chain. And here you can pick a validator and you can delegate your tokens there and you can begin earning staking rewards. So for example, we click on the Cosmo station delegator, we hit manage. And here you can hit delegate. And if we had some Osmo, we can go ahead and choose the amount you would want to delegate to begin staking. So we currently don't have any. So that's something you'd want to do down the line once you start earning rewards. And you can also switch the network to some of the other blockchains under the Kepler and IBC protocol. So you have crypto.org, which is the Crow token. Same idea. You can stake here. You have the Akash network or even the Kava network. Great. And lastly, under vote, you can vote on governance proposals. These are new mandates proposed by the members of the blockchain and you can approve or veto new upgrades to the network. So as you know, crypto is huge on participation and voting and trust. So they want you to be an active participant in the voting process. And from here, you can view some of the new proposals being proposed. And lastly, under stats, you see some of the overview of volume and price and liquidity for the different coins and the different pools in the Osmosis protocol. So back to the assets page. First thing is first, let's go ahead and deposit the atom into the assets tab. So here we have the item token, we're gonna hit deposit and it's gonna request a connection to your Kepler wallet. Let's go ahead and prove that. So we have 3.09 available. We're gonna hit max and deposit. So you're gonna to wanna to approve the deposit and under fee, this is the breakdown of the available gas fee options to you. I always recommend low. This is the lowest gas fee. Even though it's the lowest, that does mean your transaction takes longer to process, but I don't mind waiting a bit longer. If you want your transaction to go through instantaneously, you would choose high, but again, this would be more costly to you. And over time, these fees would add up every time you're swapping and staking and yield farming. So I recommend low every time. We're gonna hit approve, hit next. So I actually have my Kepler wallet paired with a Ledger Nano device. This isn't necessary to operate within the Osmosis ecosystem, but I like to use it as an extra step of protection so I can physically confirm transactions. Again, this is not necessary to use a hardware wallet, but this is a personal preference on my end. So if you don't have a Ledger Nano device, you can skip this step and you can just instantly improve the transaction within this tiny window. So the the transaction is broadcasting now and the transaction was successful. Great. Now under Adam, let's just go ahead and refresh the web page. And as you can see, our new updated balance, three Adam tokens. Great. So now our next step, let's swap 50% of the Adam for Osmo under the trade tab. So let's navigate to trade and it defaults to Adam and Osmo. Amazing. So we have three whole atoms available. We're going to click on half because we want to swap half. And again, our goal is to contribute to the Adam and Osmo pool and any pool is a 50 50 distribution. So that's why we're converting half of our atom for Osmo. So we clicked on half. This all looks correct. There is a 0.3% swap fee, which is normal and click on swap. Same idea. You want to set the gas fee to zero low proof. I'm gonna confirm the transaction on my ledger. Transaction was successful. And as you can see, our balance updated down here, six Osmo. And if we click up here on our Osmosis chain, we now have six whole Osmo in here. Great. Now let's move on to our next step. We're gonna to add to the pool number one, the Adam and Osmo pair, right? So now let's navigate to pools. And the pool we want is pool number one. Click within here. 
And very simply, it gives you a breakdown of the available APRs to you. One day would be 50%, seven days would be 81, 14 days would be 101. I personally am a long-term holder, so I am going to pick the 14-day unbonding period. But depending on your strategy, you can pick the seven-day, which is right in the middle. So what these unbonding periods means is as soon as you want to pull out your funds from the pool, it takes either seven or 14 days to unbond the tokens and deposit them back into your wallet. They're incentivizing you to keep the tokens within the pool for a longer time. That's why they offer a higher APR for the longer duration. But the downside of this is, let's say a bear market commences, you're stuck for 14 days of unbonding. So if you wanted to pull out your money, as soon as you begin to unbond, it could take up to two weeks for your coins to be available back into your wallet. And by that time, if you want to sell, it might be too late. You're left bag holding. So that's why I recommend for most people either stick with a seven day as a happy medium just to be on the safer side. And seven days would win you an 81% APR rate. But the cool thing is you only have to add liquidity once and the rewards are always compounding daily. You add it one time and it'll be winning rewards in perpetuity. Unbonding only happens when you're ready to pull out your money. So for example, say you pick the one day at 50%, you can add Add it one day and continually every day it'll keep compounding you don't have to do any extra work like i mentioned earlier the osmo rewards will be deposited once a day into your wallet so for this example because i'm a long-term holder i'm gonna go ahead and pick the 14-day bonding period so let's go ahead and add remove liquidity up here and as you can see it's a 50 50 makeup so let's go ahead and hit max and add liquidity zero gas prove Transaction was successful, amazing. Now the next step after this is you're gonna have to click on start earning. And from here, pick your unbonding time period. And like I said, to bond, you only choose once. You will be winning rewards in perpetuity continuously. Don't think after seven to 14 days, you have to do this again, you do not. Only until you're ready to pull out your money is when you have to unbond. To bond the first time is a one-time process. So let's click on 14 days, select max, bond, 0% gas fee, approve, transaction was successful, and let's go ahead and refresh the web page. And as you can see, our position is populated down here under my bondings, and we've chosen the 14 day period. And if you wanted to unbond, you would just click on unbond all, and you will receive your tokens back in 14 days. But like I said, I'm gonna keep my coins in here for a very long time, so I don't have to touch this ever again. And if you wanna view your position as well under pools, click back in the pool tab, and under my pools, you see here, you've bonded a total amount of $102. Great, and that's it, it's a very straightforward and easy way in how to yield farm within the osmosis protocol and like i said rewards are paid out once a day the osmo token is getting bigger as more people keep joining this DeFi platform so i'm very bullish on this token cosmos is an amazing blockchain with super low fees and super fast transactions and if you look at their pools the pool size keeps growing each and every day with the biggest pool here with over 418 million in total value locked. So last thing, what do we do with our Osmo rewards? You have two options. You can either deposit the same Osmo rewards into a new pool, or you can stake the Osmos under the stake tab. So let's take a look. If you wanted to contribute your Osmos into the same pool, you can come back into the same pool and add more liquidity. Keep in mind, you would have to trade some Osmo for some Atom for this to work. It's always a 50-50 pair and you can contribute back into the same pool under add liquidity or you can diversify and pick a different Osmo pool. There's also Ion Osmo, a cash Osmo and some of the more exotic pools such as the Crow Osmo pair, which I'm super bullish as well. The Crow token from crypto.com. And for you Terra Luna fans, we also have the Luna Osmo pair. We have the Terra UST pair or even a Luna Atom combination. So it's really up to you which other pool you would like to contribute to. You can diversify. There's no limit into the amount of pools you can contribute to. Your second option would be to stake the Osmo rewards under the stake tab. 
So if we click on stake, it takes us to the staking page and we're under the Osmosis tab. So like I showed you earlier, you can delegate your Osmo tokens to one of these various delegators. So I know one of the popular delegators is Citadel One. So you would click on manage and delegate. And from here you can choose max and from here delegate and begin earning stake and rewards. And that about covers it, a complete guide on how to yield farm within the Osmosis DEX. It's a very sleek interface, very easy to use and intuitive. The fees are so cheap and the pool rewards are massive. I'm super bullish on this coin and this protocol and I suspect a lot of Ethereum users are going to start yield farming within this DeFi platform. It's really a viable alternative to some of the other bigger DeFi platforms such as Uniswap or Aave. I recommend Osmosis over both of those. So anyway, let me know what you think about Osmo. Are you a fan? What do you think about their platform? Let me know in the comments section. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.